Hey Scorpios and welcome for welcome back to another outside with brown eyes. I tried to get out here earlier but I slept in uh, because you know we have still heat advisories going on here in Arkansas so hopefully just had to come outside and absorb nature and meditate and ground myself and let the universe speak things to me and download good energy and uh, you know, just connect with nature is always a good thing, especially when you're so connected with <laughs> gadgets and electronics. So to come outside is such a beautiful thing for your own energy and your aurora. aurora. <laughs> so welcome, Scorpio. Welcome back for another awesome August love reading. Uh, this is the Outside with Brown Eyes edition. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Shout out to all of my beautiful, amazing Scorpios, uh, my subscribers, my highly favored members. Stay optimistic about your love life, Scorpios. Your positive thinking, your positive affirmations, and uh, your mantras and your positive thinking is the thing that's going to bring it. Past life connection. Ooh, okay. See? So I feel like every connection is a past life connection, and it really is, because we're all soulmates here. We have some type of contract with each other, one way or the other. One way or the other here, Scorpios. So let's see, y'all, the wind is blowing. Can't you tell that the seasons is changing? Seasons change, seasons change, hoping you will still be there. <laughs> y'all remember that song? Seasons change, y'all. Seasons are changing because you can feel it in the atmosphere. You remember like the old folks used to step outside and say, smell like rain. You can smell the shifting of the times and you can feel it. And you see how plush it is out here. And it just amazes me. Every, every time the, the seasons change, I get a chance to see the beautiful plush of nature. But then when the winter times come, you can't see a leaf out there it's just as you can see all through there you can see it's just crazy here it's just amazing how mother nature automatically replenishes herself she don't need us to do it she's self-sustainable and i guess in 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 an in the instance or in a sense so are we i guess it's just tapping into that that power but it's just so beautiful because whether you go out there and water your plant or not Nature usually does water it, but you want to make sure you're mindful of it. But like y'all, I got two money trees and both of them done died. <laughs> All of my other trees are just as beautiful. So it's something about this tree that I'm gonna have to, I noticed that it, it, it acts better outside. Maybe it's too cold inside. Like I said, so much shade around here. Maybe it's not getting the light. Someone said in the comment section, maybe I was over watering it. I don't think I'm overwired, but I'm going to get another and I'm going to try again. I'm going to Google it again because I'll be finding out tips on YouTube. You know, it's, YouTube is amazing. Now. It has its perks. Anything you want to know, just go to YouTube. You're going to find a video for it. If you want to learn how to cut your big toe, toenail properly, go to YouTube. <laughs> if you want to know how to break up or meet somebody, I done seen all kind of things. Let's put it like that, okay? So let's see. So far, Scorpios, in this weekend love vibes, because we're still operating in the weekend love vibe energy. Uh, it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you have been desiring romance, then you're positive. It's your attitude is what describes you. It's got to be what you perceive in your head. But see, you already have to be imagining it fantasizing now, I know I look I'm a big dreamer I stay in the clouds so surely you can tap into uh, the other dimension here Scorpio surely you can it says you have known each other before now whether you have had an experience in this lifetime I'm looking y'all <laughs> like I think it's 8 8 something a.m. here but whether it's, a, whether it's a past lifetime or you've known this person in this lifetime, it says past life relationship. So I guess what Spirit is telling some of you guys to stay optimistic about your past life relationship, okay? Because it tells you 
Continue to think positive even when you don't see positive results because <clears throat> faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You don't have to see it to believe it because if you believed it while you have it, that's not believing. But if you can believe while it is not physically manifested, that is faith. It's about believing what the natural eyes cannot prove to you. But spiritually, you know that it is. You may cannot physically prove it, but spiritually, there is a know that it is. Okay? So, let me put some more energy. This is beautiful energy, Scorpios. Ooh, somebody saying release their ex too, though. Ooh, for somebody you meet. So, somebody you need to release your ex. Release the X energy or release the X negative energy because somebody once again, see and see y'all. It's like, you know what, you know what, Scorpio, I have been studying people. I've been studying you. I've been studying how people respond. It's like people don't want it when it wants them. But when people want it, it doesn't want them. Why is that? You hear me? Let's check it out. Let's say for a relationship. When you really, really want that relationship and they don't want you back, you really, really want them. But as soon as they mess up and you go on with your life and they really, really want you, you front like you really, really don't want them back when that's what you've always wanted was for them to want you. Isn't it amazing how People that we chase after are running from us because they're chasing after someone else. And while we're chasing after someone here who was not studying us, someone is chasing behind us that we don't want. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Man. So it's almost like a continual cycle of recycle energy, y'all. Just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again is what I feel until you make a change, but check it out. Somebody's about to experience a new relationship and it is your true love because I feel like it is a soulmate. You're gonna feel this spiritual, could be, could be a twin flame soulmate connection. You could have met this person many, many times before in the past, in the past, deja vu. Have you had any, have you, has anyone in the comment section had any recent deja vu moments where you could have sworn you did something before or the, it's just like the, the shift, the energy in the room or the element shift. It's almost like your mind is trying to remember something or your mind every once in a while clicks into other realities or other dimensions or other past life experiences that you have had. Wow, Scorpios. Like I say, we're just running around in a circle, Scorpio. We are. Yeah, it comes new opportunities, but you're still going to run around in a circle. Now, whatever you do within that circle is you. You could have a very, very happy, successful life. But what this life offers is repetitive. Uh, over and over and over again, lesson after lesson after lesson, because that's what it's all about. And if you're wise enough to tap into and conquer uh, the lesson, then I feel like you do get to enjoy the benefits of learning and acquiring knowledge from this experience, because that's what it is, and physical experience, a human experience. Your spirit is having a human experience. But somebody has true love. Somebody has a new true love here, and it is a soulmate. So let's put these over here. He, 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 he. Like I say, somebody might need to release their ex in order to get the new love, though. <clears throat> or maybe someone you're dealing with need to get an ex out their head so they can come on and make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, it don't have to be complicated, but it's supposed to be, isn't it? That's how you get the lessons. See, it's like it's supposed to be that way. Playfulness. It's time for you to have fun, Scorpios. 
It says to recapture romance, Scorpios. Allow your what will be the end. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Well, uh, who used to be the life of the party before <laughs> you just wasn't anymore? I'm just saying. See there, it's time to regain back that, that kitty, not so serious energy, Scorpios. Have fun, live your life purposefully. Uh, make no apologies because everyone has their own life. And if you're too busy trying to please other people's life, you're going to miss out on pleasing your own life, Scorpios. It's time for you to have fun. I remember happy days when they were simple things here. They were simple things, but it meant so much like, like back in the day. We used to get together and go to, go to each other's houses and play cards. Everybody would bring something. Everybody knew each other, you know. And we would play spades all night long, eat, laugh. That was fun to me. <laughs> I don't know what they do now, but it's got to be something. It's got to be something, because it just seems like we was going over and over and over again. So playfulness spirit is wanting you to get out there. Create your fun. Love yourself first, though. Because spirit is, I guess this is just like a, a protective caution, if you will. Because if you have new love, true love, you know how it is when there is an opportunity to love. Um, you tend to go all in and they don't even ask for it. <laughs> you tend to go all in and then you realize that they're not going all in back. So whatever they give is what you give. If they don't give nothing, you don't give nothing. It's what I feel like. Love yourself first. You see it? <laughs> all right, then. And let's pull you some tarot cards. See? You ain't got to be no fool, though. I'm just saying. Engagement. Ooh, somebody's relationship going to a higher level of commitment. See? All right, let's see. <clears throat> cards are going to pull these. Let me pull you a couple of these lovers' oracles. Like I rushed out of here. Cause I had you on my mind, baby, Scorpio, baby. <laughs> had you on my mind. I said, I'm going to go outside <clears throat> because I'm skipping a day because I'm trying to not flood y'all out because my videos aren't getting watched, which, you know, it is what it is, but I'm just saying. I'm going to wait till the holidays to do that because <laughs> it's about to be very, very interesting, Scorpios. I feel it. I feel all types of inter I feel like all types of opportunities of engagements or uh, uh, invitations. I see that. I see getting out there. I see you enjoying yourself and having fun like like the thing just said here. It say, um, where's my knife, y'all? Playfulness. That's what I'm looking for here. <clears throat> It says to recapture your youthful energy, allow your, allow your inner youthful spirit. What's up with that you, youthful inner spirit? We're so busy uh, acting like mature, or immature adults that we're forgetting that there's that kid in us too. You remember that kid in you, Scorpios? Have, have, you, have you lost contact with it? I'm still in tune with mine. And I hope, I hope, I hope I never get, get out of that because that is what we need to balance us. You remember, even in that Six of Cups energy, I remember seeing one of these tarot cards when you got the little kids, but then you got the older, you got the older couple too. And just think, it's just repeating itself. See, you go back to being a baby again, then growing old again, then going back to be a baby again. See, it's like it's connected. We're, we're connected with our youthful self. It's like everything we need is within us if we just get to know us or the power that we have because it's, it's out here. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, this is amazing. I'm telling you, life is amazing to me because I look at it from levels, you know, not just what I see because there's something going on that we do not see that you have to look at it from a spiritual level here, Scorpios, and then it'll make sense to you. All right, Spirit, what other message do you have for Scorpios? Thank you, Mother Nature. Mother Earth. For this beautiful energy, embrace. 
It says, through each other, you find the missing pieces. Y'all missing pieces. See, the only thing is missing which in your relationship, Scorpio, is each other. <laughs> okay? You're missing them, and they are missing you. You guys need to come together like a puzzle because you are, you are a twin flame, just separated here. You're separated physically, but spiritually, you're still connected. See that, Scorpio? Somebody here who you want, you can talk to them spiritually. Yes, you can. You, you can communicate with them. I'm telling you. You, you yes, you can. Only time will tell. So Spirit is talking about divine timing. Be patient. Just let, let, see, something is developing. Look at that heart. She crying. Oh, see, somebody wants love. And somebody saying, yeah, 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 only time will tell. And Spirit is taking that as a, as a, a a challenge <laughs> but really Scorpio it's not spirit it's yourself only time will tell with what you do even if, even if it just starts out with your thinking here you can't put it off we can't put it off on nobody else I'm just saying it would be easier but then no that's why we all have our lesson to learn even if we're blessed enough to come together and meet people we still are responsible individually and I know it's frightening but it's just because you don't forget how, how powerful you are. That's why it's frightening you to forget. Because if you knew who you really were and the power that you had, you wouldn't be timid. All right, it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. See, see, that's just what I say. You don't wait to be happy. You're already happy. You have to already be in that energy. See, it says, give thanks. Spirit is saying, already rejoice on what you don't see and what you don't physically have see it's just confirming what i just said give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart uh truly desires see give thanks scorpios and it says if you could do anything scorpios what would it be the answer dwells in your heart uh, not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Mm. See, that's why you're so deep here, Scorpio. That's how come a lot of people be scratching their head dealing with you because a lot of times they can't figure you out, but at the same time, they feel like they just got to have more and more and more and more and more of you. And I get it. If you're just like that, you are. But you need to know that. that that's the only problem. It's like your people be all around you buzzing energetically, knowing that you are this awesome creature. And some of y'all be, you know, and I can understand you could change that, but... If you knew how great you were, it's not coming from a place of arrogance. It's just everyone really is great in their own right here. Everyone really is. Everyone has their own unique gifts, their own individuality. That's what makes us us. That's what, you know, separates us from each other. Although we are all the same, there's still a separation in a... Uh, Individuality, what I'm saying. Is that a, is that a bird up there in the tree? Is a leaf? Oh, it feels so good out here, Scorpios. It really, really do. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpios? Shout out to my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. I really, really do. Yes, I do. I really, really do. Thank you. Shout out to my subscribers, my members, my Patreon partners, my Patreon members as well. You can also join me on Patreon. Um, I guess it's time to go live. I'm trying to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm trying to build my Patreon up first and then, you know, we'll go live over there. But until then, you know, I just continue to upload videos. Uh, shout out to my Scorpio members who was able to join that live. It was nice. I love it. It was, it was like a personal, intimate moment. It was like, you know, and it ain't no shade to nobody else, but when a person supports you, you know, it's different. And I'm not saying others don't support you too. Now, here we go with this. Mm. I love it when you do that, that, eh, eh, eh. I love it when you do that, eh. Now, what is going on with you and this person here, Scorpios? King of the Pentacles type of dude here. They go that moon enticing somebody again. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. I hear the money, 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 money. There go that six of cups. I told you, deja vu, nostalgia, reminiscing here. You remember you just seen the past life relationship. Ooh, six of cups. 
And what's going on here? Mm. The Hierophant. The Seven of Cups. The Page of Cups. The Hangman. The Star. King of Wands. And the Empress. That's what I thought. I thought that's what was going to show up. For some of you guys, you may have multiple people. Let's see if you got multiple. Let, let's see. Let's let's see. Can we pull the masculine energy here? So, I feel like the masculine's energies are trying to those who are looking for relationships at this time are trying to are really thinking about something serious. This is this, this what it is. With this Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like this is, and, and as the King of Pentacles, because we know how the King of Pentacles get down. They are the structure. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, they believe in um, security, provider, support. So they're a very good supporter here. Uh, they, they, they're like the magician energy. Uh, this is a money magnet person. This is a boss. This is an entrepreneur. This is someone here who is very, very successful financially. Uh, this is also a very, very good father figure and a spouse. And this could just be a boss here, very generous, very giving, very nurturing. I feel like whoever this person is is about to change somebody's life, okay? Because you got the moon card here, and then you got that ace of pentacles, I'm just saying. And I feel like it's about to be changed for you, Scorpio, because this is your reading, I'm just saying. I feel like a boss is about to make it resign. <laughs> Are you ready for the drip? <laughs> I feel like Big Daddy, if they say, Daddy's home, Daddy's, I feel like Dad, Big Daddy finna come home now, Scorpio. Mm -mm. Let me hurry up. Let me see. I get out of here and get to running my mouth because I get to feeling that energy. Then that son be like, up, oh, he didn't, heat advisor, heat advisor. <laughs> Let me hurry up. <laughs> oh, we got the Six of Cups. Oh, they go to Nine of Wands. Here we go with that. Why you want it, baby? You okay? So this person has been through a lot of things, or this person has got it out the mood, okay? Spirit said they got it out the mood, got dig it. See, five of wands. I feel like this person, the struggle is real in their life, but I feel like they've overcame something here. Now I feel like somebody's ready for a relationship. Let's see, one more card. Like clockwork, the devil. Every time that king of pentacles come, that devil card come here. So see, this is someone here who, who had to deal with their own demons of life their own demons of life where their job is concerned because this could very well be <clears throat> for some of y'all this is a celebrity type energy or a well-known person in the community a boss in the community here and they have to move in secret here because they always got see there's somebody always got somebody coming at them look at this this is the, what is this about See, and like I said, this could very well be somebody here who is really an uh, overcomer. You know, in spite of all of the things that they have been through just to get to where they're at, uh, now somebody may be looking for a partnership here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Like I say, you got Pisces. You got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. You got, oof. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You got the Hierophant here, Taurus. You got the Two of Swords underneath the bottom here. In denial, refusing to see something, judgment being clouded, something you're not seeing something or somebody not seeing something. So we're going to see, like I said, I feel like something going on here. I want to check out this Devil Five of Wands and this Nine of Wands here. Let's see. There's some type of confusion or illusions or like I feel like somebody is fantasizing though because you got the six of cups. That's that nostalgia energy right there. Look, six and seven. So you know somebody is thinking about it's, it could be that somebody is, has been through going through a lot, but they think about happier times to to uh, to change their situation or to change to ease their pain 
and they're thinking about you. I feel like somebody is thinking about you and some type of commitment here. For some of y'all, maybe you work with this person here. Maybe this was your boss here and they miss you as an employee, but we're talking about love. So let's see. All right, Spirit, why is, let's start off with the devil energy. What's going on with this Capricorn energy, this devil energy for Scorpios? Outside with brown eyes edition. Spirit, what's up with this devil for Scorpios? Spirit, what's going on with this devil card? <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, slow. Mm. Queen of Wands. Someone is obsessed with you. And they're slowly making their way to you here. What's up with this devil spirit? Queen of Wands could be a fire sign. So you got the King of Pentacles and the Ooh. Somebody is obsessing over you. For some of y'all, you got some hating ass bras on your job or some hating ass people on your job that would love for your money to slow down, but it's not. It's going to increase, if anything. Somebody could be jealous of you because you're very, very beautiful and attractive here and they see wealth around you. And I feel like if it's for this King of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles got their got dang me out on you. And they say, look here, little mama. <laughs> they say, look here, little sugar thing. Now, nah, got dang, mama, mama, mama. Ooh, there's somebody here that look at you like, baby, I will come in here and I will change your whole life. See there? This is somebody looking at you saying, I'm going to change your whole life. Ooh. Is somebody here that said they go after what they want? Somebody could be saying you beat out the competition, Scorpios, the five of wands. What's up with this five of wands? Some competition, conflict, fussing. Ooh, they go to king of cups and the nine of pentacles. Ooh. All right, Spirit, what's going on with this Five of Wands for Scorpios, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries? Five of Wands. So I feel like somebody left somebody out in the cold here. Now, and not only that, you got a bunch of hating ass people who would love to see you left out in the cold, but you're not because you got a lot of competition behind the scenes, a lot of hating energy. But only thing it's going to do is push you into your abundance anyway. Somebody would like for something to happen. But like I say, somebody, it could be this King of Pentacles is leaving the competition out in the cold, god dang it. They say, uh, ain't no competition. I'm finna spend all, somebody say, I'm finna give my whole legacy to Scorpio. <laughs> you got the Ten of Pentacles on front. Somebody leaving the competition in the cold, y'all, is what it is, okay? See? Because they feel like they want to make things right and they feel like there, there needs to be balance and somebody's looking for reciprocity, um, fairness, justice. And I feel like this is justice that somebody is trying to make right. Someone is doing something in order to make things right here. Mm. Could be a Libra. See, what's that? See, told you. What, what was that card at? Death. See, told you, somebody's ending something here. Somebody, you're getting, somebody is getting, somebody is ending something because they're trying to bring justice to another situation here. See, and there go the fool card. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. So let's check out this King of Pentacles. Spirit, what's up with this King of Pentacles that's causing all this mess? What's going on here? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Scorpios. Now, like I was going to say about the masculines here, you could be having your eye on this attractive person here, and you're you really you got a thing for them. Too much you you they do it for you. They I feel like there is a strong push and pull. You are extremely attracted to them, okay? And you could really see yourself building something long-term with this person here. 
But in order to do that, you're having to leave other situations out in the cold, even if it's a negative mindset. You gotta let that go in order to uh, receive something that's from the universe, I feel like. All right, Spirit, what's up this King of Pentacles? Somebody ready to settle down, but maybe they've had to overcome some mess, which we all usually do. They go to star cards, see? Somebody said that they finna make all your wishes come true, Scorpios. Aquarius. Ooh, Pisces. And I feel like this person's moving in silence, too. See, this is somebody here who is behind the scenes that's finna make something happen. Ooh, there it is. You got the, ooh, you got the money, honey, honey, money, Scorpios. See? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, see? This person feels like you are their everything here, or this person's holding out hope, but I feel like this person is about to make your wishes come true. This is somebody here who's gonna do it because they're, they're able to. This person can give you everything. This person wants to build a life. Whoever this is, somebody trying to build a life with you, Scorpio. But it's still something negative going on here, something behind, the, it's something lingering in this. I see this 5-5 five, five here. Now let's check out this moon energy, let's see. Why is this moon here? This could be a Pisces. Clarify the moon for Scorpios. Ah, is that why? King of Cups. Somebody is, <laughs> once again, somebody is a, it's affecting somebody here. Emotionally. Somebody is bringing somebody's emotions to the surface here. The moon is bringing these masculine emotions to the surface, y'all. Things that they have suppressed because they didn't want to deal with them out of fear or whatever. It's starting to, this moon energy is really starting to affect these masculines. All right, spirit, the moon. Could be a Pisces. See, when they ready, they ready to make something happen. <laughs> Could be an Aries. Somebody's ready to take this leap of faith, see? Because somebody, ooh, somebody, mm, somebody has been manifesting this. But I also feel like somebody here, I keep seeing, you got some haters, look at the five of swords, but see, it's not working. It's like I'm seeing arrows being thrown at you. I'm seeing the best, I'm seeing something better, but I keep seeing little arrows being thrown at you from different angles here. But it's like it's not going to work, though. See, th th this was one instance right here. See, you could have had some, somebody doing something behind the scenes or some hateful energy, aggressive energy, because you and the Queen of Wands, there's some jealousy here. You got the Devil card. Somebody may have been wanting things to not prosper for you out of jealousy. I can see you got some jealous energy around you, Scorpio. You got some jealous energy around you, and maybe this King of Pentacles does too. But like I say, maybe somebody's been doing some magic, but Spirit says right back on them. Because see, this is in the reverse. It's right back on this person's going to be crying. It's right back on them. This is how it showed up. Now, see, this could be somebody here who is manifesting you, and they're trying to get away from the mind games that they did. See, this is what it is. Somebody's, somebody's real emotions are starting to come to the surface. And, and you, you know how it is when... Somebody always talking about somebody, but they're trying to act like they don't like them. And then you have to look at them and say, well, damn, you sure talking about that person. I thought you, I thought you wasn't bothered. you like, I ain't. But they're, they're always talking. I feel like this is what's happening to somebody. Somebody's been trying to hide their feelings, but they're steady telling off on themselves here, okay? And I feel like, like I feel like they could be obsessed with making this thing happen with you. See, they already see, because you got the King of Pentacles. They're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. See, you got the Ace of Pentacles already, and this is what you're showing up in. Very beautiful, confident, attractive here, uh, mysterious, because they don't know what you're doing behind the scenes, why they hating on you. I'm just saying she ain't got no black cat for nothing. Mm. Not to mention you got the death card here next to justice here. Here it is again, no weapon formed against you is going to prosper here. See what people mean for you to what thing fo folks may want to happen to you. You're getting justice for it. See uh, transformation here, rebirth. 
If people want things to be lack in your life, spirit is just going to turn it back around here and bring you justice, justice in your favor and justice against those. But like I feel like this person saying you, they leaving the, the, uh, the competition in the freaking cold. They're coming in to make things right with you and they're ending some things. But I feel like somebody wants a rebirth. They can't stop thinking about you. Got the six of cups. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Here the sun is, y'all. I tried to beat it, but here it is. Maybe I need some of this sun today because this is all the sun I'm going to get. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Because it's so dark in there. See, they go that moon card again. See, somebody in their feelings about you, Scorpio, they can't hide it now. They cannot hide it. Like I say, somebody is telling off on themselves. All right, Ace of Pentacles. I had a three of swords keep wanting to come out. Somebody's hurt. See, like I said, whoever this person is, they're in their feelings. But I also feel like somebody wants to make it up. It's almost like with the justice cards, almost like somebody is saying, baby, whatever I did wrong, I want to make it right. I feel like somebody's trying to make it right and they're really making it right. See? Because they go that five of ones again, see? It's like a bunch of mess going on in somebody's life. Maybe it's internal or maybe it's, it's external, but it's in reverse. Five of ones, got the five of ones. Like I say, somebody leaving a competition, whatever that is, in the cold. Mm. So you got the three of swords here. Well, somebody feel like somebody's going to be hurt. Somebody did get hurt. Probably was the other person that somebody probably didn't want. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Ace of Pentacles, Moon, and Three of Swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Pisces, 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 Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Four Pentacles. So see, I feel like this is somebody here who, like I said, they've tried to suppress their emotions long enough, but it's something about this moon energy keeps triggering them and bringing it to surface. And now somebody here is realizing that they were causing heartbreak by holding back or they were holding back how they feel. I feel like somebody was holding back how they feel. Because like I say, with this moon card, you got the moon card twice. You got the king of cups trying to come in and they, they don't know that they're, somebody may not know that their thoughts is manifesting you. Then they may know, but then it could the, the magician card could represent that some of y'all may have manifested this person, manifested this connection back. Because somebody got true love coming. It's from a past life person. And there's your six of cups. So let's see what's up with the six of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. All right, Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Mm, didn't I tell you? Because, because uh, Big Daddy is ready to spoil you and do some things for you. See, there they go. See, see for somebody, for somebody, you may have went back to an older job and... A lot of people are not going to like that because you, Boston sets, see, you may have, somebody may have had, any, had a, a special connection with the boss and they came back to a job and it's going to bring out them haters. And like, I feel like they're going to be hating on you. They're going to be mad, always watching you. They go to page of swords here, but this is this person here who's been watching you, observing you because they want to come back, but they know that when they come back this time, they got to make sure ain't nobody else in the, ain't nobody else interfering with this five of ones in the reverse. Because like I say, they're leaving a, a competition out in the cold here. See, because they know you ain't going to play that. One more card for the six of cups. You know they're watching you, though, because you got the devil card here. And like I said, if it's a job, you got everybody else watching you, too, with that five of ones. For some of you Scorpios, you got a lot. You got a bunch of feminine energies watching you. Some watching you because they're jealous. And some watching you because they want to get with you. All right, one more card for the Six of Cups. The world, see? A new cycle, a new opportunity. See, somebody's looking at you. They coming. 
This King of Pentacles is coming, but I feel like this King of Pentacles may have had to clean up a lot of things in their life because they can no longer suppress what they really, really desire. All right, why is the Seven of Cups here for Scorpius? Clarify the Seven of Cups. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. What's up with the Seven of Cups? But you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. See, I feel like this person fantasizes about a partnership. This is why you got the Queen of, this is why you got the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. This is why they're coming in to you. This is this person that this person has set their in, uh, intentions and attention on you, and this is all they're thinking about. Money, because you got the King of Pentacles. So somebody feels like you guys, so somebody may be coming in here with an offer to you, a big offer, okay? For some of y'all, it's going to be a nice, some nice money. You're not going to want to resist this. You're not going to want to uh, turn this down because I feel like it's going to put some money in your pocket. That's what I see. All right, the Seven of Cups for Scorpios. Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You're going to have cause to celebrate here. See? Three, three here. What's going on with the Seven of Cups? Or well, this person wants to be around. You see, Eight of Wands, communication, something taking off, something gaining momentum, fast moving energy, could be traveling, communication here. All right, the Hierophant. What the dog, man? Dog pound. All right, Spirit, why is the Hierophant here for Scorpios? Clarify the Hierophant. Ah, oh, snap, the lovers. Gemini energy, see? Somebody feels you, see? They feel your love, baby. It's about you. And somebody don't like it that somebody's giving you all this attention. This is what it is. Somebody doesn't like that somebody wants to give you a lot of attention or because they keep talking about you. They don't like that. Somebody does not like it. Somebody feels like you, some, whoever your person is, this, this, this financially stable, this boss, they talk about you too much. But they're trying to act like they don't. Like I say, this moon energy has got this person running their mouth and their feelings are exposing them. Their feelings are exposing them because the moon is bringing it out. It's bringing it to the surface. And now people like the homeboys or people who was interested in this person is looking at them like, well, damn, I can't tell you, you don't like Scorpio. You sure is talking about them a lot. And it's pissing them off. And it's making, it's making somebody jealous. This is what it is. Because this person is talking too much. See there, they want you, Scorpios. Like, I feel like somebody can't deny it anymore, see? And I feel like this person tried to juggle their, their feelings, but it, they could not escape it, and this is why. This is someone here was trying to act like somebody was trying to suppress their feelings, okay? And they gonna come in here and try to su su suave you. See, this is what, this is what it is. It's your soulmate again, Scorpio. See, you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is someone here who was fought. It, somebody, somebody gave it a good fight, okay? But like I say, whoever this person is, they're the ones giving it away. They keep, either they're doing something extra for you or they're wanting to, but I feel like they're talking. And I feel like somebody who tries to act like they don't love you, they are in love with you and somebody else is realizing it too and it's making them jealous. Now you got the Nine of Wands, your last card out here, y'all. All right, Spirit, what's up with the Nine of Wands for Scorpios? Nine of Wands. I'm going to start melting soon. Nine of Wands. See? <laughs> Tell you, outside, it be nature and daddy go again. See? I told you, this person been behind the scenes fighting shit. It's like everybody trying to tell this person what they should and shouldn't do. But I feel like this person's going through a lot because this person didn't want to admit that they had feelings for you. That's been one of their struggles. But it's almost like somebody's trying to... It could have been somebody suppressing their feelings because they had too many people talking shit. See, somebody had to shut it down. Somebody was like, look here, now you don't tell me what to do. You don't know Scorpio. This was somebody... Look here, somebody is standing up for Scorpio, see? Justice is being served for Scorpio, see? 
somebody had to stand up for you. See, because they was like, God dang, man. And it's like, well, why you keep talking about it? It's like, well, I could talk. I thought we was friends. But you getting all mad. What you getting mad for? Because you say you didn't care. Well, I mean, God dang, I thought, thought we was friends and we could talk about it. Somebody's realizing that they got a bunch of haters around them. See? Now the ones, the king of pentacles, somebody's realizing that a lot of the advice they've been getting is because they hating. But, it's, you know, and, and a person should be able to confide in their friends. But I feel like, like I feel like, this person has spent so much time trying to suppress how they really feel. This moon energy is bringing all this stuff to surface here. And now this person is telling off on themselves. And now it's bringing a lot of attention here. It's bringing a lot of attention to their love life here. And probably to you too, Scorpios. All right, the nine of wands. See? Four ones. They just want happiness and harmony in their life here. Like I feel like this person, this person is looking, see, this person is looking to settle down and to take a break. Because I feel like this person don't work they self. Like I said, this person needs to take a break, y'all. But the only way they're going to take a break is if they get love in their life. This is how they feel. They need harmony. They ain't got peace. Because being a king of pentacles ain't easy. Especially when you're single. It's almost like, who do you trust? I can't trust my friends. I can't trust women because everybody's trying to get me. Everybody's trying to force themselves in my life. I got my eye on somebody already, though. See, this person just want a peaceful place to relax. And this is why they can't get you off of their mind in this Six of Cups. And this is why they don't tell nobody no more. They used to run their mouth. Thank you, Spirit. But Spirit said this person had to learn to shut up. See, King of Pentacles, in order to get their wish fulfilled, they've got to move in silence now. See, because this person's realizing that they've been running their mouth too much. In order to get what they really want, they can't tell nobody no more because it drains them. I feel like it drains this King of Pentacles here. See, Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles. And all this person want to do is just have peace with who they want without everybody always trying to tell them what to do and everybody is always trying to get in their business and control their life or insert themselves in this boss's life because they got money, okay? That's what it is, Scorpio. This person ran their mouth so much, somebody realized they're going to have to shut up now because the only thing it's doing is showing how much this person really is in love with you and this, this person seeing that people are hating on you and hating on their relationship and hating on them. But it doesn't matter because once again, this is what this person wants, a commitment with the connection that they feel. Physical, you know it's physical and emotional and spiritual because you got the queen of wands, they're attracted. See? So this, this could be somebody here who was not facing what they really felt because of all the pressure around them. See, somebody, somebody may have not stood up for this connection in the past, but I feel like they're going to stand up to it now because it's been gotten out of hand. Somebody talked too much and they let it out. Somebody, somebody's un trying to figure out. See, see, it's like this. This person, whoever this person is, they got a lot. So quite naturally, once again, they got a lot of yes men, a lot of yes people. Everybody want to be in their personal space. But a lot of them does not have this person's best interest at heart. They have motives. So, but don't get me wrong, I feel like your person was being a jerk too because I feel like they was trying to suppress their feelings, so that's on them. But like I actually feel like, because you got the moon twice, this moon energy is bringing, especially in the King of Cups, is bringing all that out. Now they got an urgency to make a move. Because now, now their love, now their love is taking over them once again. And like I said, they had so many folks running their mouth, they got to move in silence now, y'all. Because I feel like if this person, this person, they gonna, they coming for you. They don't care what they say. They got an obsession with you because this is their family. This is what they want with you. And then it could also be the negative energy that's surrounding your person 
watching your person to see how long it's going to take them to come in here and open up their world to you. Like I say, somebody's moving in silence now. They're going to look up and y'all going to be in for whoever this for. They're going to look up and y'all going to already be in a relationship because this person ain't telling nobody else. All right, Scorpio, this is it. This is all, honey. This is another outside with brown eyes in your awesome August love energy. If this video resonates with you lovely, lovely Scorpios, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Please consider becoming a member, a highly favored member, and also becoming a uh, Patreon member as well. Or just thumbing up this video and leaving me a high vibrational comment that is just as awesome as well. I appreciate each and every one of you Scorpios, and I'll talk to you in the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.